and you'll if you want every when you're chalking too if you want to look uh, right at the camera you can look at Trey too but if you want to look at the camera those are the people that are watching us so if you want to reference that or just do that everybody welcome into the Huddle Hippos Coaches Show right here on Vite Media appreciate everyone tuning in this is Coaches Show Volume Two I'm here with Coach Will Compton of the Huddle Hippos. Getting ready for week number five after a bye week, and uh, this is a very special week as it's homecoming. So Absolutely. Uh, another great opportunity to welcome in all the Huddle Hippo fans coming into the stadium on Friday night, but as well as watching our show here this week. So appreciate you having us once again. 2-2 um, two two record uh, after uh, a nice extended break. What's uh, what's the mood like and the, the mode like as you uh, get ready for week number five? You know, I think coming into uh, coming into last week, coming into our bye week, it was it was frustrating for everybody. You know, with being uh, you know being two and two is not exactly where we wanted to be. You know, we feel that you know collectively as a team we should be four and zero. Uh, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot. Uh, you know, it was, it was not one play or one call or uh, or one series throughout those uh, those two games. It was you know uh, some things here or there that you know. Coaches, we could have done a little bit better. Players, we could have done a little bit better, and we'd be sitting four and zero in the top of the district right now. And so, coming into that bye week, it was it was a little bit frustrating, a little tough to get get started. But uh, felt that we got a we got a lot of great work uh, during that bye week, and uh, you know got some guys healthy, got some guys in some different positions, and uh, you know it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a good setup moving forward in district. With the bye week, and is it less work or more work? As as far as maybe not physical work, but uh, maybe more mental reps, that kind of thing. You know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, it came just after a grading period for us. Uh, so we were able to take one day off uh, Monday. Uh, we took that off, uh, watched a little bit of film, did some weights. Uh, then we hit it hard Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, came back in on Friday, film, weights again. And so it was kind of a mix. Uh, you know, it wasn't really much different of a week for us. You know, it's still three hard days of uh, practices. We got a lot of good on good during that week. Uh, you know, so overall, I thought it was a very productive week and got some schemes in and, uh, you know, got us a head start on uh, on Westwood for this week. Nice. With uh, this new week, homecoming, all the festivities, all the, the daily activities, everything else like that, is there any kind of distraction that you have to work through with these kids moving forth through Sorry, moving through yeah. this week in particular. No, not as not as much as what it used to be. You know, back when uh, back when I was younger, you know, your homecoming week was like a whole extravaganza. Oh yeah. Uh, for the entire week and half days and and things like that. You know, here it's uh it's a couple dress up days. Uh, you know, I think today was uh was barbecue versus soccer mom. Uh, which my son took all my bought my barbecue stuff, so <laughs> I didn't get to dress up today. But I stayed in the office for the most day. Uh, I think uh, tomorrow's uh, heroes and super villains, and then uh, uh, I know our coaches are extremely excited about thursday uh when they get to dress up like the athletes uh so that's gonna, that's their uh their excitement for the week but you know uh i think our players have done a really good job you know brayton anderson's done a, a really good job of talking about you know let the main thing be the main thing and, mm -hmm. and you know if you don't take care of business on friday night uh then it's all for nothing you know so that's what we're we're focused on that game as I'm talking about athletes, it's a nice little segue right here. We got three of them with us here this evening for this coaches show gentlemen i appreciate you coming in being a part of this, not really knowing what's going on, but here you are because Coach told you to be here. But if you want to pick up that microphone, if you want to just go around real quick, introduce yourself, maybe tell everybody your name, what your number is, and position, that would be uh, helpful for everybody watching. Um, I'm Hunter Fernet, uh, number 17. I'm a sophomore. play quarterback, receiver, safety, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> right on. Um, yeah. Jaden Fields, uh, number 12. Safety and receiver. Keelan Chavis, number one, running back and receiver. Right on. So, gentlemen, I just asked Coach Compton about homecoming week. What's this mean to you being a hippo? And homecoming, of course, it means everybody's coming home, everybody that's been uh, a hippo at some point in their life, coming back to uh, be a part of this uh, this family, this community. Once again, what's it like for you repping the hippos as homecoming week approaches, Keelan? I uh, just really want to just put on a big show for everybody who comes to support us. So that's really what it is for me. Right on. How about you gentlemen over here? Any thoughts on homecoming this week? First homecoming. You know, want to put on a big show, show everybody the new hippos. Right on. Um, yeah, well, homecoming. Obviously, we want to win every game, but when there's something to it like this, uh, it means a little more, you know, with everybody coming home, like you said. Um, yeah, so like they all both said, put on a show and, you know, get a win. 
Excellent. Appreciate that. Lots of lots of things going on as far as preparation um, with uh, the brand new district. And we've touched on this before, mm -hmm. but um, when you come off of what you've come off of and you're learning what you're learning, all these athletes, and they just mentioned I play both sides of the ball. I've seen you mm -hmm. on defense and knocking down passes. Of course, you two just being in the back in those end of those games, making sure that everything stays in front of you and having all these pieces in place and all these athletes. What's it like? After a bye week, everyone's healthy again, and now you have the whole remainder, re remaining six weeks to really oh. put a stamp on things. No, it's it's great. You know, having uh, having guys like this who, who have a strong football IQ is, is big. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, I think that's the one of the bigger things that we have. You know, we have Hunter that you know plays quarterback, plays wide receiver. It's on special teams. Uh, it's going to transition back and, and play safety for us uh, this week. Uh, we had an injury with with Cameron Banks. You know, I hate that for him. Was having yeah. a phenomenal season. I get choked up just talking about it. Uh, a special place in my heart for that guy. Yeah, and uh, you know. Uh, Hunter stepped in uh, this week and really, uh, really learned what we had going on. Uh, you know, stepping up the communication over the two weeks because it, it's not something you just jump back there and learn how to do uh, what we got going on. You know, and then uh, Jaden as well is gonna gonna be back there at safety for us. Uh, you know, we were as, as y'all were coming in to set up, we were we were in here breaking down some film and, and going through some coverage calls and things like that. And then obviously you got Keelan who can who can play anything on the field. And so except quarterback, he cannot throw a football <laughs> uh, <laughs> at all. Uh, and I think that was. Pretty Proven today as he went out there and tried to like throw the ball in uh, at the Duncan booth today at the <laughs> at lunch. Uh, it was proven that he was not one of the top athletes uh, when it came to doing those things. But no, it's it's great having these guys that are able to play multiple positions. You know, because mm -hmm. when we do have injuries and we do have you know uh, some guys get banged up, you know, we have that that next best guy is what we're really able to 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 go with you know it's not just you know we have to go with that guy because that's all we have left we can truly go with the next best guy mm -hmm. uh it makes it big for us and with with all these athletes all these people last our first coaches show we touched on the leadership council uh, i guess gentlemen um being a part of this community of this team right what is it like to have that leadership and to be a part of it y'all are so young a sophomore right and you have the years ahead of you but as you learn and grow, what's it like to have that leadership from within instead of just the coaches looking down at y'all? If anyone wants to touch on that, please do so. Um, I could say that uh, moving over to safety this week, uh, there were some leaders that helped me a lot. And so having, you know, players help me, not just coaches, that helped me a lot. So that was a good uh, leadership moment for me. And then Keelan is a member of our leadership council. So oh, Keelan, right why don't you talk about that? Yeah, please. Just uh, just really trying to lead. That's really important to me. Just mm -hmm. leading by example and just just being a leader. That's really When you're out on the field in the heat of the battle and everything is going on, what kind of leadership comes from you, not just with how you perform personally, but with getting everybody involved, anything to that effect? Just keeping my energy up, always cheering people on, yeah. trying to keep our sidelines engaged with the game, just stuff like that. That's awesome. Appreciate that. And to Jaden, you want to add anything? No, you're good. That's all right. That's <laughs> all right. We'll make sure everybody gets a chance. Um, with uh, with all these places, all these pieces, excuse me, um, that you maybe have to fit in. What's what's it like for y'all as coaches to know that it's okay in the depth wise? Because when the season started, you weren't quite sure what was going to happen. But now that you've had a month to really see them in action, and you know exactly who's going to fit where and when. What's that like for you? No, it takes it definitely takes some creativity on our coaches' staff, you know, to uh, you know some time management, you know, to be able to sit down and figure out like when we're going to have our crossover periods and you know when you know going into it when we we're going to be able to you know just leading up to that uh, prior to that you know Hunter being able to come over and work some safety, Jaden being able to come over and work some safety, you know, for those certain situations, Keelan working at some corner uh, and things like that, and then we have some of our some of our bigger guys that go over in our in our Rhino package, our short yardage package, you know, and figuring out those times. So I think. You know, knowing that you have some guys that can play on both sides of the football, you know, uh, is a luxury for us. You know, some people get so locked in on just playing that one side of the ball. Uh, you know, I think it's big for us to just look at, you know, a hey, these are our best 11 at this time or our best 22. Uh, let's make sure that we get those uh, in the ball game and give us the best chance to win. Uh, as you move forward, you know, the defense is something that's a big part of what you do now as far as being a head coach. You're more focused on defense this year. What what have you learned um, <laughs> from your defense as you uh, head into week number five? Uh, it's been it's been challenging. Uh, I will say that. Yeah. You know, it's been 
Um, it's been frustrating. It's been challenging. Uh, you know, I've enjoyed it, you know, because it's one of those things where, you know, 85% of the time we're covering everybody on the field for, uh, you know, six seconds. And then the other 15% of the time we have some dude just running down the field free. Uh, and you're looking at each other and be like, and like, oh, yeah, that's my fault, coach. Yeah, I know it's your fault. We're, we're all good, man. <laughs> uh, you know, and so it's it's a lot of those conversations that, that we've had, right? Uh, you know, so it's, uh, it's a lot of learning. And, uh, you know, for me as well, uh, learning on the back end uh, and being on that side of the ball because it's a completely different mentality. And, uh, you know, me being on the on the offensive side for 21 years uh, and calling plays and stuff like that, you know, I still sure. <laughs> I still get the uh, the itch to go over there and, and uh, tell Coach Leonard what to call every once in a while. <laughs> and uh, luckily me and him have a have a phenomenal relationship to where, uh, you know, even in the, the Maynard game, they had it called timeout and I wanted to run Georgia into the boundary because I thought that a slant was going to come. Uh, luckily, Keelan, they did exactly what kind of we thought they were going to do. Keelan was able to break a, you know, a 15 to 20 yarder uh, into the end zone uh, on that. And so, but again, that comes with the relationships, that comes with coaches being together uh, over periods of time uh, and, and things like that. So those are those are the big things that, you know, that help us as a staff. I had a chance to uh, talk with Coach Leonard, and he did say that you are the one that calls all the touchdown plays. <laughs> so that's that's, a, that's our joke, man. That's right. That's, <laughs> that's kind of a gift to have right there, too. You get a, get us there, I'll get I'll get us in. You spoke of IQ when you're talking about um, Hunter's IQ and and all the all the like. What have you seen as far as um, growth mentally from your team? You know, this group, you know, every group is a little bit different. And I think that this group does have a high football IQ. And, uh, you know, them being able to play in multiple positions and has been a has been a big asset for us. You know, obviously, Keeler being able to play running back and wide receiver and uh, over on the defensive side. And Hunter being able to play slot receiver and quarterback and, and do some of those things. Jaden at the safety and the wide receiver. It, you know, understanding the game of football is something that is, is lost on a lot of kids today. They under, only understand their role. You know, I only understand how to run a post. I only understand how to run a dig or only understand how to run the ball. Uh, we got several guys that can play multiple positions, and I think that's uh, big for our, you know, for our team. And it makes you more marketable when it comes to recruiting. Sure. And you know, because you never know. Uh, for us, you're going to play what we need you to play to win. Uh, when you go to college, you're going to play what they need you to play uh, for them to win. And so, making yourself more marketable and, and putting that on uh, on film uh, just increases your chances of uh, of getting seen by somebody. Yeah, that's huge. Hey, Jaden, with uh, your being one of the one of the many wide receivers, one of the many talented receivers on this team, can you talk about what it's like for you having that mentality, that high IQ, to be able to, uh, you know, it's only one football, and there's a lot of receivers, and uh, from what I've seen, you've had a pretty big coming out the last four weeks, and so what's it been like for you to uh, be in that position and not just make plays, but to know what's going on all the time? You know, it uh, Coach Leonard helps a lot with recognizing the defense and when it, uh, knowing to run and all that mm -hmm. and just, just I I I get a lot from my dad too. He helps me with that stuff, and I've been watching football since a young age, and I just recognize it. And it's like, what's it, it like for natural? You, what's it like for you in those moments when you know the ball's coming your way, or you you get into that position and it does come your way? What's what's it like for you knowing that you had to prepare to get there, and now it's it's showtime, and you're making all these big plays. <laughs> Keelan's going to be next. Hunter's going to be next. You're not the only one I'm going to ask this question to. So no. if it's all right, if you don't want to answer, it's okay. Don't worry about it. See, our offense, and, I, and I'll kind of speak for him a little bit. Our offense is a little bit different because you don't know who's getting the ball unless it's just like a yeah. a true called run play. Sure. Uh, everything's a progression red mm -hmm. uh, as far as with the inside of the pass game. And so, you know, you may hope you're going to get the ball on a certain play, but every route has to be ran at a, at a full speed tempo because, you know, you may be the second read, the third read, but, you know, uh, you don't know exactly where that ball is supposed to go uh, on each and every play. And so, uh, you know, that's a big focus with these guys have been focusing on this last week about running everything hard because um, they don't know when the ball's coming their way. Sure. And with – with Caden at quarterback, you know, moving forward from Will last year and all that, what's it like for you to have Caden running the show and, and trusting your quarterback to make the right decision? And Hunter, you can speak to that too because you're right there with him. I mean, I started playing with Caden around 
seventh grade, so I got a lot of time with him to really mm -hmm. just grow with him. So there's nothing new for me. I always knew he can step up and make plays. Right on. What's it like? What's it? How does that feel knowing that you got him now and it's that that chemistry that I'm connects excited, with him? Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited for him. I love it for him. So. Yeah, it shows definitely shows on the field. That's awesome. Hunter, what about you as far as playing quarterback and also getting the ball from mm -hmm. from Caden too? Um, well, it took trust at first, I think, between me and him. Yeah. Um, the whole shot in the last game, uh, I wasn't really expecting the ball, kind of like how you said, you have to prepare for it. Um, so, like, oh. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, man. Um, so, yeah, I was, wasn't really prepared for it, but just being able to, like, step up in that, it just, you know, kind of felt natural almost, like, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're up in the press box calling every play. As we see it, we don't know what is being called. We just watch it like any any fan does mm -hmm. and seeing the progressions and seeing the ball get spread around and, and just having a good time writing different numbers down, different names down in different situations. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun for us as fans to see what's going on in front of us. And that just, you know, when we, when we see things happen fluidly like that, that shows that y'all are very prepared. That's why I wanted to ask that question about the mental side, not just the physical side, because yeah. the athlete, athleticism is there, but it's the getting to the spot and being ready. That's Absolutely. That means the most. And, Jaden, what about you, man? No, no, oh. Mic, oh. oh, you're going to ask a question. I see. Trey Grubb, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the producer from, by, from over here. Um, so one of the things that we talk about a lot up there with you guys is the resilience um, it is it it really is nice to see because y'all you know it's like a it's like a heavyweight fight right you get hit you get knocked down then you get to get back up it seems to happen y'all are resilient every time like he and I never think y'all are out of the game regardless of whatever the score is going to be so what gives y'all that resilience out there like thinking that it's never gonna you know, we've always got a shot Um, I think just the love for the game, just always wanting to be out there playing, that just kind of always keeps me in the game when, you know, if we're down or even if we're up, just always play at, like, the same pace and always play hard just because, you know, I love the game and want to play. Basically what Hunter said and also, like, for each other, just keep going. Mm. Oh, God, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right <laughs> well appreciate everybody coming out here tonight for this um we're going to give you a chance just to do some shout outs here in a second but um just looking forward um we're uh we're volume two of the coaches show um started off the season with uh um the tributes to the armed forces and all the people that served and now here we are with homecoming any any thoughts or anything you want to share regarding this week and what we're looking forward to on come friday night Oh, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, you know we got a we got a surprise for the fans uh, on our look this week and uh, you know it's gonna be something that's never been done in Huddle before so hopefully they like it uh, definitely uh, excited about that I know the kids are excited about it as well uh, and so we'll uh, we'll unveil that on Friday night and so that's gonna be exciting you know obviously homecoming is a great time you know we've had. Uh, uh, some great players that have played here, uh, you know, not just uh, athletically great, but just great human beings. And yeah. so it's always great when uh, when they come back to games and they're leaning over the rails and they're they're hollering your names. You get to see them. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that uh, and nice. and seeing those smiling faces uh, as we come off the field with a win. And uh, our district, the way it's set up right now, is kind of all over the place. Uh, you know the. Uh, with Round Rock getting upset last week by Cedar Ridge, mm -hmm. uh, that was huge. Uh, you know, so everybody's kind of right there with one loss, uh, you know, with the exception of Vandergriff. And so, you know, I think we're, we're right there in contention to still compete for a district championship as long as we take care of our business. Well, that's, uh, that's what's coming up next is another chance to take care of business. And I appreciate everyone. You know, before we go, I want to give a chance to do some shout-outs. If you guys want to um, say hello or shout-out to any friends or family, you're welcome to do so right now. Go for it. Um, well, just because I know my mom's probably eager to watch this. <laughs> Shout out, mom. It's uh, a good idea. All my parents actually just, they're very helpful with everything. So I guess just my parents. My mom, my dad, my brothers, my baby cousin, and the man above. 
Shout out my mom, my dad, <laughs> my brother, and man above again. Right on. So that's going to do it for us, and appreciate you having us once again. This is a, a heck of a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to homecoming and calling a game. Uh, Trey and I, we didn't get to hang out on Friday night, so we're <laughs> we're definitely looking forward to that once again. So thank you so much, everyone, tuning in to the Coaches Show here tonight. Um, please do. Um, we'll have a link up, I'm sure, at some point, so make sure you are donating to Huddle Football and uh, giving all your support. Make sure you come out to Memorial Stadium on Friday night and cheer these folks on and give it your all. If you can't, please make sure you tune in to huddle.com to watch the broadcast and hear my lovely voice along with Trey Grubb. Appreciate everyone tuning in. This is a Bite Media production. This is event captain Robert Tran, Christina Weber Bertrand, all the fine folks at Bite Media. Appreciate their support and sponsorship. And, of course, Coach Brad the Plant and all the folks with Huddle Athletics for making this possible. That's going to do for us, Michael Rose, Coach Compton, and these fine gentlemen. Appreciate all y'all tuning in tonight. Thanks, gentlemen, for coming very much. Right. And that's going to do for us.